Okay, hello YouTube. Welcome back to Beauty Over 50. Haul time, guys. It is haul time. I'm coming to you guys with a uh, haul. Um, a little something, something from Walmart and uh, the Dollar Tree. Mm, and uh, maybe, maybe Walgreens if I have anything in here from Walgreens. Oh, in my beauty supply. So, let's not prolong this video. Let's just jump right into it. I hope everybody is doing okay out there in YouTube land. So, with that being said, let's jump right into uh, this uh, haul. So, right now, guys, what I want to show you guys is some e.l.f. brushes. This one is a new one for me that I uh, picked up. I already took it out the pack. It's an angle, an angle uh, eyeliner brush. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. I didn't even know Elf made a uh, angle eyeliner brush, guys. But yes, this is. I'm gonna love using this. I have not used this uh, yet, but um, guys. I'm telling you, these e.l.f. brushes is good. Very, very good. So if you're looking for some nice, uh, affordable brushes that will work and blend out, e.l.f. is it for right now. So, like I said, I took that one out. Another brush I repurchased was uh, my two uh, new blending brushes here, guys. These two right here. I love these. I had the other two blending elf brushes that I did have, guys. I had those for a while. A good while. So, I'm going to just... Oh, Lord. Okay, get them out the pack. Just want to take them out the pack for you guys. Well, they got to come out anyways to go on my, um, my uh, brush thing. And, um, yes. Okay, here they go. The, these were the white handle brushes. This is a blending brush, a blending eye brush, and this is an eye crease brush. So this one is the eye crease, eye crease brush, and this one is the blending brush. You guys see me when I do my makeup tutorials. I always work with basically, excuse me guys, these two brushes here love them they're very soft they just the right texture i love these had to repurchase these again now another brush i purchased this is just a powder brush by revlon yes it is i think it was um eight dollars and uh look how big this is Oh, I'm going to have fun. I think I used it one time. I loved it. It's very soft. It's, oh my God, guys. Because I was looking for a real huge, like, blending brush. And I'm still, I'm satisfied with this. But still, I'm looking for bigger. So, Real Techniques got one that I do want to look into. I think it's like $13 or $14 just for the one. So I'm going to go get that. This is how this one looks. This is gorgeous. I love the way it's made down here. Um, I just love it. So, guys. Now, um, I, I'm going to hold this up. Uh, I cannot pronounce that. So there that is right there. Now, if you guys are looking for a dude, a dude for MAC brush, I went on the hunt for you guys. I found some on Amazon. They come like this. They come in a set. I think I have 12. Oh, my God. These. Oh, my God. These are so, so nice. Take two at a time. Look at these brushes, guys. I have not used these yet. Um, but look at that. They're, you know, the black uh, wooden handle with the gold barrel. It's like a rose gold barrel. Um, white tip. Uh, this is like the blending brush. 
this is another uh, blending brush it's just maybe a little more wider and then thinner you know at the end here this is just more rounder here with like a round barrel in the front of these these are nice they just don't have the numbers on them but my god I got this set of 12 for $10.99 guys $10.99 for this set okay let me finish showing you guys all the white brushes here's uh let me take that out of there here's another uh you can use for a blending brush basically the set that i ordered this was an eyeshadow uh eyeshadow brushes that's what i was looking for because i really didn't have any good eyeshadow brushes so i said let me try these before i start going and buying the expensive ones so I think I came across a nice set. I am still going to get the Morphe brushes, but I would have to wait until I move. But these right now, I'm loving the way they feel, and I'm quite sure I'm going to love the way they blend out. That's these two blending ones. Then I have two more white ones here. Guys, these are so 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 good um look like they gave me two of the same brushes here but that's okay this is more like a uh, pencil brush but it don't have that point on the end it's just a maybe a little uh, a little detail brush you could call it but these are all the uh white brushes nice long handles uh rose gold barrel feel look like the mac brushes because yes i did you know go in the mac and look at the brushes and i said i'd be dog these feel just like the mac brushes one of the mac brushes for a blending brush uh i think for something like this will run you 35 dollars so these are the white ones now we have these here right here this is more of a uh, packing brush I call them packing brushes then you have another uh, blending brush right here guys and then you have an angle brush right here come on guys oh my god this this set I'm gonna tell you something I will order this is another small angle brush right here I will order another set of these I have to now, the other set I hauled was the gold set. No, I wouldn't purchase that again. This is another uh, a dense, a little denser, more denser uh, packing brush. And also, you get a eyeliner brush here also. And wow, these are, uh, I think these ones right here, I think these are more synthetic. And I think these are some kind of animal here. So, here goes this whole set right here, guys. You cannot beat these. I recommend these. Go get them. Don't sleep on them, guys. If you're looking for affordable brushes uh, to do your makeup, especially eye blending brushes, $10.99 on Amazon. Don't sleep on this. Go get it. This is a deal right here and they come with this little bag you can put your brushes in this little bag and won't have to mess up the bristles or anything and there you go voila all right guys we done got through the brushes okay what i want to show you guys i was at the dollar store i picked up a few more nail polishes this white one i didn't have a white I picked up this blue one here you guys was with me when I looked at this purple one I did put this purple one back I had to go back and get this I polished my nail that color just to see what uh, how it would come out I know I still have a little green around there but that's okay but this color is gorgeous so when I go get my nails done tomorrow um, well, no, 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 no. It's this color. I'm sorry, guys. But I did pick up, go back, and I did go back and pick up this one. The one I got on my hand is this one right here. 
Now, I don't know if these are new LA colors. This is the first time I've seen these. Uh, it says last up to 10 days. Um, these are uh, brand new. It has like a little shimmer in it. But yes, I'm sorry, my fault. This is the one that I have on my nail. That is so pretty. So, this is the one I'll be taking with me tomorrow when I go get my nails done. Then I got this uh, beautiful green. I tried that. That's what that looked like on a nail. Just playing, seeing how the colors are going to look. And just a clear coat one right here. And another kind of peachy nude uh, nail polish. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. Every time I go in there, I see new colors. So I just pick them up to add to my collection. But this one, I think they have uh, 10 or 12 of these colors. I think I'm going to invest in all of those. Okay, guys. We're going to go into uh, makeup. Milani, I did haul this one point in time. I did repurchase this. My daughter took it from me and I never seen it again so I had to go back and get another one ain't that something mm -hmm. she gonna pay me back for this uh, I think this was like ten dollars or under but uh, not much this is uh, very good I like this this is uh, to me this is like the uh, Mac fix plus to me but just in a cheaper version a cheaper version so if, if you guys uh, can't afford the Mac fix plus this is the best next thing to go to I think so so guys I went did to Walgreens and I found these guys I've been looking for these I know I'm late on these and I know these are old but I wanted to try them out these are the Milani uh, uh, Conceal uh, Concealer, I got my glasses on. Concealer, two in one. Concealer plus, okay, okay, let's check this out. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put a out here. This one, I think this is the cooler, yes. This is a, a cooler one, basically it's a two in one foundation. Um, this color is in 13, this is a chestnut. Uh, one fluid ounce that's a lot of product and it comes with a pump so I'm gonna put that one there and I'm going to put this one here I always get two foundations because I don't know which one is going to match my um, complexion this one I think is the cool one right here guys and this one is the the deeper one I've been hearing, I watched some videos on this foundation, and um, it seemed like it was pretty good. Oh, and another thing, that's how it looked. That is, uh, this is more my color right here, and if I would use the other one to conceal with, this is the one I would use. But it also says two guys. This is a, a medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, and uh, it is water-resistant and sweat-proof. That's why I wanted to find this, sweat-proof. So, I will do a review on these like we did the last time. I'm going to um, continue to come to you guys with those kind of reviews. Where I will put my foundation on and try to wear it for 24 hours and tell you guys how it lasts. I'm going to make that a uh, little ser series on my channel. So, we're going to do this. We're going to try to wear this for 24 hours and see, will I sweat? I want to see if it's really worth the hype. Now, guys, these... I uh, was in a CVS. I picked up these. Um, hmm. I did use the blue one. Um, volumizing in length. This is how the, the barrel looks. The brush. 
um, I can say these are really good, guys. I think they were like, say $6 all together, five something. Um, this one, do lengthen your lashes. Great job. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So, this is actually very affordable if you're looking for uh, some eye uh, mascara. I keep getting mascara and eyeshadow mixed up. If you're looking for mascara, guys, this is a, a nice buy. Run out and go get you some. Don't sleep on these, guys. And I got this other one. Um, yeah, triple, triple tip layer so we're gonna see let's look at this now this barrel is a little bit different it's bigger at the beginning and it goes small at the bottom so you can use the small end to get those bottom lashes so i have not tried this one yet so i will be trying this in my next uh makeup video so i got two of them um when i see something i want to collect them all so I think I'm going to, you know, go back and get some more of these. Okay, guys. I went to uh, my beauty supply store. Found my blue hair. See, I'm here in uh, Michigan, up here, and my beauty supply store up here. They barely sell them, sell the color hair up here, where, I, where I'm at. I would have to go all the way to Detroit or order it offline <laughs> to get uh, the color here. And I picked up um, two of these, so I am going to be uh, braiding my hair. It will be in black and blue. Um, three packs is enough because I'm going to make the real big, big braids. So, okay, guys, back into makeup. Pro Concealer HD Highlight Refiner. Look at this, guys. I found this in a white. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. So, the reason why I wanted to get this in a white to set my eyes when I get ready to do my shadows. Because, you know, when you're dark skin, and some shadows just don't show up, period. So it's just like the LA Girl Concealers, which I do want to collect all of these. I don't care if it don't go with my complexion because I'm starting to do other people makeup. So I need to uh, purchase all of these. So we're going to put that right up under this foundation. Ooh, I didn't mean for that much to come out. But it is a white concealer. Now, this is the first. I ain't never seen this, guys. I ain't never seen this one. So, this is the first. I'm going to uh, take a little bit of this off of my hand. I don't want to, well, we pack it on like that anyway. So, you just, you know, dab it in like you would do uh, any other concealer. It's kind of blending in with the foundation, but that's how it looks. I can put it on my eye set it with my Sasha Buttercup or if I just want to leave it white set it with some eye white eyeshadow and that will uh, show up my colors pretty good guys because yes the, the other concealers yes they do show up they do make it you know really pretty but if I'm doing neutral colors I want to see my neutral colors guys now these little babies right here, these are eyeliners I got from my dollar, family dollar. Baby, let me tell you, these is the bomb. I don't wore these. I picked up three of them. They were one dollar. Okay, let me open the one that I already did. Look at that brush on there. It's a felt tip brush, liquid on the inside. Guys, look at that line. Just, just gorgeous. That line is. I'm just, just playing. You know, putting it, putting it on. Oh my God! If you want a precise line, you really can get it with this. Oh wow! Look like a 14 almost. But you can get it with this, and it dries, guys. This dries down to a matte 
finish. But baby, it's waterproof. Let me tell you, to get this off, you got to basically use oil to get this off or you're going to be scrubbing for days. So if you're looking for a good eyeliner, let me see, these are, they look like different colors here. I hope not. Let's see if this one a different color from that one. Let me see. I know that. Okay, that's black. Let me just make sure. Okay, that's black. I don't have to open that up. And, okay, yep. All three of them are black. One dollar, family dollar. Don't sleep on these. Those are good, guys. Very good. And that's how it looked. It's drying down now. And there you have it. This stuff don't move at all. I doubt if it... <laughs> Just let me do a little scrub in here before it all dry up. Look how hard I have to scrub that just to get that off. So, baby, if you're looking for something to stay on, that's going to that do it. All right, guys. I have a uh, Milani. A Milani. Um, this is a Golden Light Spotlight 03. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at that. To me, this look like a high-end uh, highlighter. To me, it do. Yes, it do. Guys, I'm just going to just swatch all of them. Let you see what it look like. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is gorgeous. And guys, I got this free at my Walgreens. I had, you know, when you pick up your medications and stuff, you get free points. And this was eleven ninety nine. Uh, I had that on my points, my Walgreens card, and I did not pay a dime for this. So uh, check your Walgreens card, see if you have any points, and you can get uh, some free eye, some free makeup, guys. But if you do want to purchase it, it's eleven, say twelve dollars. Not bad. Look at that glow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay, guys. We're going to go into Fit Me. Yes. Like I said, I am um, trying to build uh, my collection. So, I got the Fit Me in the 380. And the name of that is Espresso. Gorgeous. Let me swatch some of these for you guys. These are simply gorgeous. They made these. Maybelline did this. Yes, they did. It's going to take a little bit off of that and just swatch it. Just swatch it. Look at that. That's espresso, guys. That's a beautiful. I can contour actually with this. Look how dark that is, guys. That is gorgeous. All right, this is the 375. This is a uh, Java. That's what it says. So let me wipe my hand off because I don't want to mix that on there. Um, oh yeah, guys. So I'm going to get the rest of this line here. This is Java. You know, I had bought this. I said, okay, this is my complexion right here. That's Java. It really do. But it is actually a little too dark. I can use that for a contour also. Gorgeous. Now we got 370 here. And this is Deep Bronze. And all of them are uh, matte and poreless, uh, normal to oily skin. So, uh, yep, normal to oily. So I have very, you know, dry skin, but I can make this work. These are $5 and some change. Not bad, guys, not bad. So I picked up uh, four of them. Now, 
this one right here is more in my color. This was deep bronze, I think. I have to look at it again and I forgot it already. That one looks like it's more my color right here and I can contour with that. Gorgeous. Look at that. How that blend in. So, I can actually wear that one for foundation. Oh, you can barely see it. And this is the 360. I know it's some shades in between uh, three, se this is 70, 75. I guess it gotta be some more colors in between here, guys. But, oh, I believe me, I will find out. So if you guys are looking for affordable makeup, affordable makeup, guys, and uh, foundations, fit me, don't sleep on this, guys. There is uh, the three, what was that, 360. And that color is mocha. So, we have all of our Fit Me foundations. I don't know how many uh, shades it come in, but I want to get the darkest all the way to the lightest because I would be doing all kind of skin tone, you know, make, you know, I would need all kind of different color foundations. But I'm loving these guys. I can, yeah, mocha, I can pull off mocha too. Yep, yes I can, it's right there. The other one, I can pull that one off to uh, Java. But wow, I don't know. I would have to see. I don't know. I would have to see. Java looks more uh, great, great, great tone. I know they got a truffle in between here, so I'm going to have to look for that truffle. Okay, guys, I did find ooh, the powders. I only got two of them. Um, I don't know how many they have in these. I did try, uh, I did wear this one uh, for the holiday. Loved it, guys. Love it. This is a dirty, 35 deep. This is in deep. It's a loose finishing powder. Yes, you can set your uh, under eye uh, with it, everything. I'm just going to put it right here. Just rub it in right there so you guys can see that. It has like a yellow, a yellow undertone just with a very hint of a red undertone in that. The formula is, oh, this is so soft. This formula, guys, is softer than the, um, the uh, Buttercup uh, setting powder. Yes, it is. And this one is in dark. This one is in a 40. Okay, let's, I love this. Now this, no, let me use my other hand because I don't want to mix the uh, colors with the, look at, now this is beautiful. You can just, oh, child, you can just powder yourself down with that if you don't want to put on no makeup. Take this big old powder brush right here and just powder it down. Look at that, oh, child. Oh, child, but I just want y'all to see that have most mostly uh, your red undertone. This one is mainly a yellow undertone with a hint of red. This is basically more red with a hint of yellow. That's how I see that. It is gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's so dark. Guys, don't sleep on these. I don't know how many they got of these, but I will be going back and getting the rest of them. But right now, these are the two that I can use. So when I'm buying something, I make I get the uh, makeup that I can use first, and then I start adding to my collection. Okay, guys, I seen these little uh, Maybelline things. I got these for a buck, guys, a buck a piece at Walgreens. They had a sale going on, and plus, um, on my card again, I had points on my card again. 
gorgeous. Let me wipe my hand off so I can swatch these for you guys. Uh, gorgeous, 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 beautiful eyeshadow. Knowing, knowing well, we don't need no more eyeshadows. But I, hey, for a dollar, you can't be it. It comes with the little uh, sticky thing. Um, this is, and this is, uh, uh, the, what in the world? I can't even pronounce that, guys, and I'm not, but it's in a teal. It's like a teal color. Look at the pigmentation on that, people. Oh, I don't want to put that in there, okay. Pigmentation is off the good. Let's go, let's go right here. Look at that. Gorgeous. The next color is gold school. That's what it says. Let me wipe my finger off again. This is a gold, and yes, I did use this one. This on the holiday. Yes, I did. This oh, this is so pretty. This is a gold. You can actually uh, highlight with that. Use that in your crease on your eye. That is really pretty. Now, this one here is the Gold Down. That's what the name of that is. Okay, and that's what that color looks like. Come back so you guys can see. These things, guys, they feel like butter when you're rubbing them. And, oh my God, look at that. Look at that, guys. That is so beautiful. Love it. To me, this one uh, is a rose gold. To me, that's what it looks like to me. And this one is just in silver. That's what it says, the name of it. And this is just a silver, guys. Like a, uh, hmm, let's see, like a uh, silvery, just a silvery tin, you know, tin look. But look how gorgeous that is. There you have it. Gorgeous. Love all four of them. Yep, I got them with my uh, Bucks, uh, my Walgreens uh, Bucks, mm -hmm. and they were, the, the original price on those guys was $3.99 a piece. Okay, then I used my Walgreens card and paid a dollar a piece for all of them. Okay, guys, let me go into these makeup wipes I got from uh, Walmart. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you the uh, the fit me the fit me and the fit me powder guys. I found them at my local Walmart, and uh, I got uh, these uh, makeup wipes here. These are not um, that expensive neither, but they're very good. I have used these before, even the ones I showed you at uh, the Dollar Tree. I also use those. These are very good. You guys don't need to go out there and get those very expensive wipes and they're all going to do the same thing. I'm just going to keep it real with you. They very, uh, very thick. Love them. Very, very thick. Look at that. And really work good. And it has some kind of uh, oil or something in them because they're very, very soft. Love these. Don't sleep on these neither. They're, I think, three fifty or three and some change. That's it. You get 40 uh, wipes in here. This will last for a while, guys. Okay. Then I just got uh, Wet and Wild. Um, these I just throw in my purse right here. Um, I like to keep something in my purse, you know. Uh, Antibacteria kills 99% of germs, um, cleans better than hand sanitizer. So I like to uh, buy these and throw them in my purse, you know, when I'm out with my grandkids, they eating and whatnot, you know, you got to clean them up. Good deal. And also, if you want to use, you know, to wipe your face off, you can also do that too. Okay, guys. Back to L for a minute. This is a F eyeliner. This is what I picked up at the CVS here. This is another little F eyeliner. It looks like this. It's in a black. Um, yep, just a black. It's a felt tip. And 
straight sugar, guys. Look at that. Straight sugar. Bam. Hmm. Can't get no better than that. Shut your mouth. Love it. Love every bit of that. And I also got a uh, liquid line, eyeliner. Love my liquid. This is what, like I say, liquid was what we used back in the day. So, um, I love my liquid. It looks like this. Love it. And this brush. This is not. This is just a brush. Look how tiny that brush is. And I'm going to. And look how black that is, guys. Oh shit! No way, up. There you go. Bam. That's this right here. The top is the elf one. Well, both of them are elf. The top is the liquid, and this is the felt tip one. Love it. So, this one is a, a matte black here. No, a jet black here. I, I knew it was a... So, this is a, a jet black. Um, they were $2 a piece, guys. Don't sleep on those neither. Okay. At my uh, dollar store, LA Colors again. Just a one dollar. Uh, you can use it in your eye, uh, the lid of your eye, a crease. Just a golden uh, color. It looks like that. You can use it for a base, or you can use it by itself. Um, it's beautiful uh, for one dollar. Kind of remind you of the NYX pencils, but uh, they are just a dollar. Good, good deal. Okay, guys, we are going to go into these right here, babies. I found these things. <laughs> the funniest things. I thought they was for the... <laughs> I thought they was for... I thought they were contour sticks, actually. But, um, they're for, uh, the hair. You know, if you're my age, you got gray hair around your edges or whatever. Uh, these babies right here. I got two of these bad boys. So this one over here because I'm going to show you guys this. It is a hair color touch up. Uh, it's in a dark brown. Cost one dollar. Look at that. Quite a bit of product for a dollar guys. You can't beat that. And let me show you the swatch on this. Look at that. Girl. Shut up. Hmm. But it is, like I say, to get rid of the gray around your hair. Hmm. Knowing me, I might even use full contour. Hmm. I know that sound ghetto, but hey. <laughs> Knowing me, that's that's pretty. Look at that. Let's see, will it blend? Well, I might. Well, it's hard to blend. Well, it do blend. Hmm. Well, whatever. But, uh, knowing me, my silly self, <laughs> I may try to use it for a contour, but, uh, I do need these, especially when I'm putting my units on to, uh, get rid of the gray gel, my edges down, and wipe this, you know, put this on my edges. So that's what I, uh, love about these. Uh, got me some lips lipstick. <laughs> That was funny. Got me some uh, uh, toothpaste. I love uh, this toothpaste. I used to use this. Um, I'm going back to this uh, for the whitening of my teeth. Right now, I'm in the uh, process of going back and forth to the dentist right now. So, I'm trying to get some things straightened out. Hope they, I hope they don't have to pull all my teeth. <laughs> Okay, guys, here we just got some vitamin E oil from uh, my family dollar. Right here, not bad. Um, Sometimes, you know, you some people, I see them buy the uh, vitamin E tablets and put a hole in them and then put it on your skin. I just take a tap of this sometime at night and just rub it all over my skin. Okay, here we just have a uh, dollar, just a dollar of uh, brush and a cobblestone, you know, to clean your feet with. I use this to uh, basically clean the inside of my nails also with. Okay, we have this little uh, sponge thingy. Now, I ordered this from off of Wush. I have not used this yet. Um, I wanted to see how this worked. 
because uh, they say, you know, it don't soak up your product. So, I will see. I will probably use this in a tutorial and let you guys know uh, how it works. This right here, cute. One dollar, whoosh. Uh, got a brush cleaner. You can set it in your sink. It got uh, the little suction, su suction things in the bag. You can set it in your sink and you can uh, literally uh, wash your brushes with it. Put your soap on it and, and clean your brushes with, with that. So I do want to get a bigger one though, but this was from Wish. It was $1. I said, let me try this one first. Okay. We got some six individual sponges. Um, just sponges right here. I have not uh, opened up yet. Um, kind of like the uh, way edge ones, but these are the round ones right here. Just some sponges. I like to keep clean sponges. I probably won't open these up or unless I'm doing a client's makeup. And I got this uh coconut oil hair uh scalp especially when i'm wearing my braids i uh put this in my hair all the time um this is some good stuff guys don't sleep on this neither i'm quite sure you guys know coconut oil is very good for your hair it softens uh softens uh oh, lord have mercy softens your hair uh protects dryness anti-breaking it's nice. It's a hair and scalp conditioner cocoa. Coconut oil. Very good. This will last me a long time. Okay, guys. Just a few more things. And I am done. I want to show you guys some of my snacks. Love these things. Got this. Love these little candy bars. Here. My Hershey's cookies and cream. Love them. Ooh, child. I eat, see, I need my snacks sometimes. I do eat healthy, yes I do. But sometimes you just gotta have a little sweetness in your life. Okay, I got my um, my uh, cashews, love these things. Got my little gummy worms, love these, which I'm probably not gonna be able to eat these because my daughter gonna grab these up. Huh? And I got my Werther's. Love, love, love these. Now, these are the ones I do eat in my sleep at night. Yes, I do. I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, I do eat my sleep. Mm -hmm. Love my snacks. Yes, I know this was a long haul. I didn't mean for it to be that long. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys these too. Got these from my beauty supply. My hair jewelry. Mm-hmm. And now that, like I said, I, I am a beautician. I do good hair. Um, I got these little gems. Ain't they cute? I just had to put them in the bag here. I have stars right here. And I have these little gems right here. And I have got these little strings because now what they are doing is taking these little strings to client my clients when I break their hair. I just went on ahead and bought a big, big one from Walmart with all the colors in it. This is another uh, string thing right here. This one, these are plastic. And this is another one. This is material, but this is a uh, this one is stretchy. So, yeah, they've been asking me about the strain. So, uh, now when I braid the hair, I can uh, put uh, the strain, different color strains in their hair. And if they want, you know, gems or something, I can, you know, put those in the hair also. So, yeah. I said I got to keep up keep up with the uh, beauticians out there myself so yes I do have to restock when I move restock my uh my hair thing oh guys oh I got to show you these two girl guys let me tell you what happened 
When I felt hard this one time, I put it in the dishwasher. The dishwasher melted my bottle. My bottle came out this little, guys. I am not exaggerating it. Exaggerating, it came out this little. So I went back. I got three of them. Three of them. I said, but from now on, I will not, will not put these in the dishwasher. So don't, if you buy these, do not put them in the dishwasher. They will mess up. I love these guys because I try to get at least two of these down a day as far as water. Two of these down a day. And sometimes I put lemon in there. Lemon or fruit in my uh, water or juice or whatever I am uh, drinking. And I also uh, got this aloe vera uh, lotion. It's supposed to be for um, dry, dry, you know, extremely dry skin. So, uh, until I order my um, shea butter again, this is basically uh, what I use this um, with my uh, oil. And two more things I have to show you guys is these pretty little... Uh, that these are base fillers. These are so cute. But I'm going to do a DIY with these. Because what I'm going to do when I made my brush holder, guys, I went back to the Family Dollar, got the green styrofoam, which you stick your flowers in. Told you guys, get the green ones. I got uh, a couple of these. I'm going to uh, glue them together. And I'm probably going to put these around here. Okay, guys, been on here long enough. So, to show you guys uh, my uh, little haul that I uh, got and um, am loving this. I'm going to go and put all this stuff up and I will see you guys in my next video. You guys stay safe out there and may God bless you and see you guys in my next video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you'd like uh, these kind of videos, thumbs it up. Uh, I, I will try to uh, do more. But as far as my affordable makeup videos, yes, I will do. Yes, I will. Um, I'm going to make that a little series on my channel. Also, makeup on a budget. And uh, foundation um, to see how long. To test, to test where our foundations. Okay, guys. See you guys in my next video. God bless you all.